What is love? Is it but a feeling that comes and goes in a moment's time? Does it bend and morph during arduous seasons? Will it be based on what you see with your own two eyes? Or will you adhere to the will of God when hanging by a thread? When but a mustard seed of passion is there, will you leave a crack in the door as means for the enemy to step in? Or will you press into where the rest of life has yet to invade? And so it's death there. Will you call your love out of the grave? Will you roll up your sleeves if it refuses to leave and grab a spade to start digging through dirt for seconds, minutes, hours, or days? Maybe weeks on end until you're weak, but then you see progress made and you decide from now on you're choosing life if it's willing to stay or go. What choice does love have when you tell it to grow, even if hate resides there? You'll deprive it of air so that love will arise where you had nothing to show for the effort given. You choose to give your best commitment to what was once dead, now risen. What was a hard shell made of walls placed to be a guard where your flesh imprisoned your truer self to save you from everyone else's hate. You made a cage for you and tossed the key. Will you fight for love? The type of dove made of the light from above comes to a light upon you to ignite. So in life, you'll be walking free. The version of who shows folks talk is cheap and deeds go miles beyond what we often speak. What we let out of our jaws are weak if those words don't connect from our heart to feet. Let's be Noah with the goal of a mountain's tallest peak being lower than our love when the arc's complete. Love is the model that we're shaping it after to pass from God's wrath and be safe from disaster. But how can we love when we left it deceased? Prophesy life or give effort at least. For you who are hurt, I'm persistent when weak. If my hands get tired, I'll switch to my feet. And if my feet do too, then I'll dig with my teeth till I make it to the casket where it's living asleep to resurrect it back to life. I won't quit and defeat is not a choice. Love is the mission I'm seeking to fulfill as I turn the cheek. I rarely cry, so my eyes tend to burn when weeping, but I'll take it so you'll see I have a firm belief that death can't do us part. Girl, I learned a deep truth that in God we're for eternity. While breath be wind within our lungs, let me rest on your knee reading. His eyes are like doves beside streams of water, bathed in milk, sitting beside a full pool. As we set sail on the SS 512, down the biblical path of love for what is true love without the firm foundation that becomes the third strand that binds us together. When times are grueling, can we turn to God and press forward in faith to cruise back to the peaceful shore? Let's make every moment a honeymoon stage for what is impossible to man is not unattainable to God. I say, yes, we can be ministry partners, show our kids that true love does exist. Yes, we can make amends and return back to the way we were or are. Like when you were the young man that had cute eyes and big lips and waited on me to make up my mind, time escaped us only because we were captivated by each other's presence. What say you, my love? Can we live out 2 Corinthians 13 and be true examples of lovers in Christ? Hold hands, take time to gaze and be amazed at how far we came. 12 years that God did not let our love erase and fade. Will you do me the honor of renewing our vows? To vow to be together for forever from now. Even if I don't like you? Or want to be beside you? Or even want to touch you? Your answer? is yes of course despite the lows and heights you know i, I do. do i do i do love, love you. you oh no i love you more <laughs>